right welcome back so today we have on the bench something a lot of you guys probably have never ever ever seen this is yeah can you hear that this is this thing is a torque monster so what this is this is a Traxxas Rustler but uh, there was a goal with this Rustler this thing's fully modified there's not much Rustler on it anymore it is a chassis um, it does have some control arms off a of Rustler but I'm gonna go ahead and pop this lid and show you what's going on with this thing these are Jayco foams by the way um, these were before all the other foam tires became very popular Jayco foams were the foams to pretty much get a wide stance on a rustler or a slash to get you out there doing speed runs so these things were were built um, to get you to the 100 mile an hour in a two-wheel drive And that was my goal with this RC and it took a lot of crashing not this RC but some slashes to get this thing built with all the right stuff this was a big learning curve for me um, in building um, a speed um, rustler and it was a goal a lot of people had two-wheel drive is definitely a lot harder than a four-wheel drive 100 mile an hour car this thing went 120 and um it 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 it's a handful <laughs> don't get me wrong with the power that's behind this thing um it's truly amazing to hit the 100 mile an hour with this setup so i'm going to go ahead and pop the lid here show you what's going on with this thing something you want to see stay tuned All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, pop this lid. So Mamba X ESC TP power Proline transmission Reservoir shocks front and rear Aircraft gyro For the steering counterweight up front on top of the counterweight I do attach more weight right here to this front bumper I peeled it off now because this weight is basically what I install is uh, 1.75 ounces to the front bumper to achieve my 120 mile an hour this gyro was a game changer when it came time to uh, to keep this thing straight. Um, much aluminum as I can put up front on top of these plates. There's, I believe there's two plates here right now. Um, I had three. Pulled off one and put the 1.75 ounces up here. Um, did a lot better. Worked all the shocks worked on the gearing run um, Futaba and that's it it's a basic system XT 90s and I do run a Y to run a dual battery setup so what I do is I run one battery that's in here and then I run another one on top of the other battery that's strapped down with this so that's how I run both batteries running this Y so it took a lot of learning with this went ahead steel drive axles these are solid steel drive axles in the rear of this um, you can't purchase these drive axles anymore uh, I've been looking for these things for a while and I haven't been able to find them but these are steel 
drive axles with CVDs both inner and outer so the drive axle has never failed they're super strong and then turnbuckles a lot of alignment I have tried cutting down the Jayco Froms in the front it does help doesn't make that big of a difference and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the rear of this thing so TP power on here it's 2300 and some change on the KV um, not going to give you the exact KV on this transmission has had work to it gearing same thing mod 1 gear it is locked out um, not going to give you the gearing on this um, it took a lot for me to uh, learn this gearing you can zoom in and you can count your teeth there's the gearing that I run spur is definitely bigger than the pinion and with this gearing there is a lot more you can go problem is when you start going more two-wheel drive doesn't work the same as four-wheel drive four-wheel drive in my opinion is a lot easier to run the 100 mile an hour I learned a lot building this setup I have a lot of Y's and T's and stuff going on in the electrical here to get everything to work properly so um, and dialing this in and the location of this I've tried this in the back I've tried it in the front different combinations do different things this location seemed to be the best for what I was doing it's like a drift gyro and uh, setting it up and turning your sensitivity took a lot of adjustment to get that thing right with that said as you see the extra oil reservoir there's a reason I did that front and rear um, with these spring rate and uh, and oil with them with uh, the bumpy roads that I was doing these speed runs on meant a lot this thing handles really well it, it does have suspension travel and you can see how slow my suspension travel is in the front versus how fast it recovers in the rear t-bone racing wheelie bar setup for the rear of this as you see chassis still have some of the Phillips screws in there um, but as you see no scratches nothing's beat up why because the thing just works the motor has a little ding on it in this corner as you can see there's a reason for that like I said trying to dial this thing and get it under control took a lot but everything works flawlessly on it and this thing TP motors they have a lot of magnet strength with these motors so that's it this this is a this is an insane build for a rustler and there's a reason I'm showing all of this to you and a pretty small ESC um, I can't apply any more power to the back of this um, front tends to, uh, to to walk up um, I am running it like I said on the factory body to hit 120 mile an hour with a rustler body long antenna tube with this body the downforce this little wing produces that's why the rear recovers so fast and these wheelie bars tend to roll on the ground almost the whole time um, and the whole thing gets pushed down a pretty aerodynamic body for a Traxxas especially with this little wing deflector on the back that the rustler had just a cool um, build and uh, this one's gonna be going I am gonna sell this now this isn't gonna be given away because it, it's not worth it um, the amount of money and time it takes to do something like this and the knowledge uh, you don't see many people out there with two-wheel drives doing over a hundred mile an hour there's a reason for that but uh, 
I'm going to go ahead, cut the camera, do some close-ups on everything, and we'll be right back. All right, hopefully you enjoyed that. So that way you can see in depth what's in here. As you see, body's on right now. What I did was I went ahead, this is a 4S pack, but this is just how the packs would lay out. So 5,000 ma, this runs on 6S. So one pack is up here. The other pack is down in here. That's the way I set this up for speed running. And that's why there's this strap way up here in the front. Um, now you can run a single 6S pack, but with the power that this TP needs, running dual packs is definitely going to up your game. And here's your single 6S, and that'll strap right in there. Running a single 6S, you can start out with this. I'd probably start out with a 4S, but 5200 Ma 6S pack. Um, like I said, you're going to be charging in between speed runs anyway. I normally did three back-to-back -back runs before I would have to charge a pack, and I found by the second run is when I get my fastest time. The third run, um, you could still reach over 100 miles an hour and it's a lot more stable. Um, and uh, But the time isn't as fast as your second pass. But that's it. Um, I will be uh, supplying the Y connector for this. Um, I will pull out my receiver uh, because it is a Futaba receiver. If you need it with the receiver, like I said, let me know. We can work on that. But I'm going to let this go for $500, even though there's a 
ton more than that into this. Um, some might say, well, it's just a rustler. For me, it's not just a rustler. And for the people that know, between the electronics that are in this, the steering servo that's in this, all the custom parts that are on this, and to get this thing to go 120 mile an hour without wrecking it, there's not even a scratch on this body. I never even taped down the sides on this. I never taped down the sides. Um, I run it like this. Like I said, 1.75 ounce wheel weights on the front, and then I would Gorilla tape them. That's why I have this bumper this way. And uh, ESC is already all tuned with Castle Link. Um, gyro is all set up into it. All you have to do is put in your receiver, set your endpoints, calibrate your trigger, and you should be good. I suggest running a Futaba, but that's up to you guys if somebody wants to buy it. Um, there's no way you can build one, and even if you had all the money in the world um, to get a two-wheel drive, this way some of the parts you just can't get anymore. Um, and then dialing those parts in without wrecking it. Like I said, chassis, not even scratched. Control arms, same thing. This was strictly a speed run car. Never went bashing, <laughs> never did any of that. Definitely never wrecked it into a curb, never put it onto its lid, none of that stuff. I blew through a lot of tires on this thing. Uh, wheelie bar we tires will have to get changed soon. Um, you can see that they're out of, they're starting to get out around. Um, but you can buy these from uh, T-Bone Racing. Um, they'll work fine for now. Like I said, when it gets up on this wheelie bar, it's riding and it's it's spring loaded. So when it gets up on this wheelie bar, you need to let down on, on the trigger and keep these rear wheels planted. Um, so there's a lot of life left in those wheelie bar wheels, even though they look chewed up. Um, they're not. Um, they'll get on that because this thing doesn't stay straight. It'll it'll want to drift right or drift left. It's up to you, trigger control. Like I said, you can give somebody a hundred mile an hour, hour RC, whether they can get it there without totaling the RC. That's another story. But anybody trying to do it with a two wheel drive gang, you guys know four wheel drive for me at this point is a lot easier. But I've been doing it for many years. This an amazing. RC for two-wheel drive. But there you go. Like, comment, subscribe. Anybody interested, hit the link in the description. 500 bucks. You guys cover shipping, PayPal only. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.